You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk about the mystery that is the three frozen Chiefs fans that were found in Kansas City after a Kansas City Chiefs watch party, something that sounds very benign that but turned deadly for three individuals that are now deceased. And we've got some bombshell video of what l- people are believing is Jordan Willis in his underwear. Now, it's tough to see, and it's at night, but we're going to look at that. I've adjusted my camera a little bit to my- make me smaller so we can make this bigger while we uh, watch it. It's only brief. It's only 21 seconds, but we're going to look at it anyway. And then we've got the very breaking news, and I mean, we just found this out, that Jordan Willis has checked himself into a drug rehab. That's right, or an alcohol rehab or something. Okay, we've got that story. It's from Fox News. Let's start with the video first. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. Um, This, we're going to credit Al. Uh, Capria 23 is a News Nation correspondent uh, that had this video. So let's check this out right here. I'm going to blow it up and you're going to see this. This is going to be pretty close to the beginning of the video. There's, I, I just turned the sound off because it's there he is right there. Right there. He's right there. He's in his underwear. Let me see if I can pause it and let's go back. He's right there. They got him handcuffed. Now, look, guys. uh, When cops show up to a scene like that, they're going to detain somebody. And now the video just kind of pans around. But they're going to detain somebody. There's some people over there sort of walking around. A bunch of cars lined up. Uh, But they're going to... Let's see if we can see any more. No, not really. Uh, But... Let's go back just to this very ending. That's the cops right there. There's the person on the porch that we believe is Jordan Willis. Let me go back. There we are right there again. Okay, so that's the video, all right? That's the video that come out. Now, of course, cops are going to put somebody in handcuffs for their own safety because they they show up. You got dead bodies. They don't know what's going on. They don't know if that's Hannibal Lecter. They don't know what they're dealing with. Okay? Uh, So, we've got that. You've seen the video, right? Now, let's go to this, and this is breaking news right now. Right now, Jordan Willis checks checks into a rehab as families await toxicology results. That tells you right off the bat, there was some kind of substance somewhere that was amiss. And now Willis is supposedly an, maybe an addict. We know that the girlfriend of one of the victims, David Harrington, come out and said he was no drug addict. So this is getting very interesting. Jordan Willis is, quote, and this is a Fox News exclusive, Jordan Willis is, quote, facing his addiction head on in rehab with a source close to his family calling the freezing deaths of three men in his backyard, quote, enormous heartbreaking wake-up call. Okay, this just took a turn. This just took a turn. After the shocking loss of three of his close friends under extremely tragic circumstances, Jordan recognized that he had a problem with addiction and the source told Fox News Digital on Wednesday He immediately checked himself into rehab after vacating his home and putting his things in storage. Wow. Wow. You know, it had originally come out that he had, uh, after a couple of days, he had took off and left and got a different place because of all the media traffic in and around the area, obviously. Very high-profile case uh, that everybody's interested in. People are literally driving by the house and looking, this, that, and the other. The bodies of Ricky Johnson, 38, Clayton McGinney, 36, David Harrington, 37, were recovered outside of Willis's Kansas City home evening of January 9. They were last seen alive inside the home at a watch party for the Chiefs game against the Chargers on January 7th. A neighbor told Fox News Digital on Tuesday that they saw two 
of the now deceased men arrive at Willis's house with two 30 packs of beer that night. That's new information. That's new information we had not heard. I think I, I, this will be my fifth fifth video on this entire saga. That's not been in any of the sources that we've had. None of them. A fifth man present at the watch party, Alex Weimer Lee, left Willis's house around 11 p.m. on January 7th as the four men, four other men were watching Jeopardy. His attorney, Andrew Tajay, Tajay, told Fox 4 Kansas City. He doesn't know what happened, Tajay said. We don't know anything until the toxicology reports come back if they show anything. These men were my client's good friends. There are conflicting reports that after the deaths were discovered, Weimer Lee may have texted other people about drug use at the Willis house during the watch party. Wow. The Kansas City Police Department told Fox News Digital that the case is, quote, not 100%, is 100% not being investigated as a homicide. We knew that. No foul play is suspected in the men's deaths. Medical and law, law enforcement experts previously told Fox News Digital that fentanyl, a fentanyl analog or even a synthetic easily mistaken for marijuana like K2, could have played a role in the men's death, causing them to pass out in the snow and succumb to hypothermia. However, family members of the deceased have accused Willis, 38, of playing a more active role in his friend's deaths after he failed to report the men dead in his backyard to the police or answer alleged repeated attempts at communication. And, of course, we know he's an HIV, he's a COVID researcher, uh, which just adds a, a, another strange layer onto this. Uh, we had uh, uh, the fiancé of David Harrington not only saying he was not a drug addict, but that, uh, that, that she believes he was murdered. Okay? She just came right out and said it. Now, uh, Willis uh, moved out of the home at Northwest 30, uh, 83rd Terrace, quote, in fear of retaliation after his friend's deaths made headlines. In the days following the discovery of his friend's bodies, neighbors told Fox News Digital that two men were seen loading his belongings into a U-Haul. Woo! On Wednesday, a source close to the Willis family said his things have been placed in storage and he will, quote, still cooperate with the police department in their investigation. Willis voluntarily allowed the police to search his home on the evening of January 9, according to Kansas City Police Department. Oh, this is, this is very, very crazy. It is. Okay, in all likelihood, the Kansas City Police is trying to determine whether drugs were sold or given to any of the men and establish a chain of possession... Attorney and retired NYPD Inspector Paul Murrow said in an interview last week that process may further delay the investigation. As Fox News Digital previously reported, investigators have asked Johnson and Harrington's parents for their phone's passwords in an effort to piece together their last moments alive. Quote, I would think that now they have to try to jailbreak the phones if they can't get the passwords which is very difficult to do these days. Most of these phones, a lot of the data default to the cloud. You can get a cloud search warrant instead of having the password. You're not going to get in with the thumbprint. Previously, the source close to Willis' family told Fox News Digital he had remained in Kansas City to care for his father. His father's got mid-stage Alzheimer's. And, of course... Um, you know, they go on to talk about he's very depressed. I guess he's very aware that many people in the country believe he might have committed murder. You know, so uh, I said the other day, if the guy didn't have anything to do with it, if he technically speaking somehow didn't do anything wrong, then, yeah, this guy's got to be in hell, no doubt about it. But now we find out he's checked himself in the rehab, which tells me, at least I'm very suspicious now that, yes, there may have been drugs present in this entire situation. And, you know, I was talking to a friend the other day, and I was like, how do you do anything with the idea that fentanyl is just floating around out there anymore? I mean, really and truly, that can be, like, laced into anything these days? You know? I mean, I saw something the other day involving a sheriff's deputy 
And I think they administered three consecutive doses of Narcan to get this deputy back amongst the living, essentially, after, like, opening a bag that had fentanyl in it or something. That's all they did. It's absolutely nuts. And, I, you know, I've seen some of the comments on these videos. People think something happened inside. They were drugged outside in the snow. You would think we would have heard that already. If that was a scenario they thought could play out, you would think being snow, that they could tell, these investigators could tell if their bodies had been moved, all of that kind of thing. And, of course, that video I did yesterday, the pathologist came out and said that if it was hypothermia, they would uh, succumb to cardiac arrest. You get hypothermia, your heart goes nuts, and you, ha you go into cardiac arrest, and you're a goner. This is crazy. And can you imagine if you took something and it made you so incapacitated, you're literally sitting there and you're like, I can't move? Am I going to freeze to death? How, what kind of moments of terror does that set off for the victims? That doesn't sound like a great way to go. And then that brings on the feelings of what happens if this guy was sitting back what, eating popcorn while watching all this? And he was getting a, you know... His jollies off of it. And look, that's just speculation, but people are jacked up now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, as of right now, I don't think this guy's done anything wrong, but I, I don't think people are crazy to at least be suspicious or give it the fuzzy-ass eyeball. This is nuts. It's really nuts. Make sure you hit subscribe. Wow. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.